and welcome to Don't Be Dirty. The show that shows you don't have to be dirty. With us is Tony, three-time semi-finalist, and John, keen to be clean, who came through unexpectedly when last week's finalist, Mr Nottingham, died in a canoe. Tony, I'd like you to start first. Would you describe for us, Tony, please, the act of fellatio? That's the act, Tony, of fellatio without Tony, and I'm sure you must know the rules by now, without being dirty. And the time starts five seconds ago. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, is an act that takes place between two people, uh, possibly of opposite sexes, but possibly not. <laughs> Careful, Tony. Uh, whereby <laughs> one of the participants <laughs> takes a part of the other participant's person into the place where they might more commonly keep bubble gum. Say, and uh, proceeds to masticate. Oh, uh, Tony, I thought you were a goner there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, until the other participant arrives at a state of uh, pleasurable relaxation, uh, the second participant then gives the first participant ten quid and goes home. Unbelievable! Can no one beat this big man from Hunstanton? Well, John, it's up to you. Now, your topic is the preservation of hardwoods. <laughs> and the time starts. Then. Well, this is a very necessary business operation. Uh, Tony's challenged. Uh, he said business. <gasps> you did say business, John, you did. A little bit dirty there. Minute away, but plenty of time to go. Operation that has to be carried out if developers are not to raise our hardwood forest. Another challenge from our reigning champion. The nature of your challenge, Tony, please. He said, he said raise. He did say raise, Tony. Raise is an anagram of arse. Raise is an anagram of arse, Tony. Tissy, tissy, tiss. So sorry, I'm afraid we have to lose you. You were keen to be clean, but you came up against a man very much at the top of his form. So sorry to say goodbye. Oh, piss. <laughs> Tony, you've been in this position before. You keep the £800 in weight. They're yours to keep, as of right. No one can take them away from you. But I'm offering you now another £600 plus an opportunity to go into our Don't Be Dirty Daily Double with a chance to win £10. I'll go for the Daily Double. I knew you'd say that, Tony. You're a sport. Quite a sport. But do remember that the prizes that you've won are yours to keep. They're yours. Yours alone. You're clear on that. I'm clear on that badly, yes. All right, so long as you're clear on that, they're yours. No one else's, just yours. All right. Can we have the Don't Be Dirty Daily Double categories on the board, please? Your categories are rimming, <laughs> genital torture, <laughs> and David Vine. <laughs> now, remember, this is a daily double, so two subjects, tell me. I'll have to hurry you as you take your time. Just take your time very quickly. Uh, uh, genital torture and David Vine, please, Bradley. <clears throat> tell me. You have 30 Earth seconds in which to talk about genital torture and David Vine. And those 30 seconds, Tony, start. Oh, damn, just missed that one. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> no! Uh, nipple clamps and uh, scrotal compressors are frequently deployed, as well as a variety of serrated needles, which are inserted into uh, parts of the body normally kept inside pants and vests. Uh, presenting various sporting events, uh, most notably the World Snooker Finals from the Crucible Theatre Sheffield, David Vine combines uh, an easy, relaxed uh, presentational style with a clear expertise on the game. He also... Oh, Johnny! Johnny, you said on the game! Oh, you dirty Johnny, and that's a pity. I was, I was dirty. Shite ass damn. <laughs> Only four seconds to go and you were dirty. Johnny, I'm so sorry. It means you lose all the prizes you won last week and the prizes you won tonight. They're gone. They're not yours. They're lost. As of right, they're not yours anymore. I'm afraid you have to repay to us your travel expenses <laughs> and you leave us empty-headed. But, Tony, you knew the risk. I did, Bradley, yes, I knew the risk. Yes. But tell me this thing, Tony. Have you had a good time on Dolby Dirty? Have you enjoyed yourself? Has uh, it been a pleasure? It's, it's, been a, it's been a big one, Bradley. It's been a really, really big one. I've pleasured myself hugely. No, well, well, that's good to hear. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we say goodbye. But do remember this. Don't, Don't be, be dirty! dirty. <laughs>